Okay, here are some things you're going to need. First off, get a flex brush for trombone, not for trumpet. The trombone one is a little bit larger and works better. You also want to get a mouthpiece cleaning brush, have a regular toothbrush on hand, your valve oil, and some rotor oil. In addition to those, I'll use a microfiber soft cloth for drying the trumpet and also some paper towels. The first thing you'll want to do is clean the sink. This will serve two purposes. You will make sure not to get any food gunk in your trumpet and also you will make your wife, if you have one, happy. So to begin, start to disassemble your trumpet. Now when I do that, I uh, put the valves in order so that um, I don't mix them up. Uh, most valves nowadays have a marking as to one, two, and three on them, but uh, if your horn doesn't, then you want to make sure you keep them in order. Okay, so here we have the horn disassembled. This is the level of disassembly that you commonly need to do. If you take a look at the valve a minute, in my case, there's a number one there that indicates first valve, and then the others have two and three on them. So uh, look on your valve to see where that might be and make sure you keep them in order. Um, as far as cleaning the valves go, uh, I've been doing this for 40 years and I have never found a need to disassemble the the valve to the level I've seen some do this and, and remove the spring and, and all the inner parts. It's just not needed. It's not in the air path. Okay. If, if you need to go to that level of cleaning, you may want to bring it to a professional to have it ultrasonically cleaned. Okay. But I will show you how I clean these valves and you can make up your mind if you like the way that I do it. Okay, so the next thing you want to do is make sure that there is a cover to both of the drains. The last thing you want to do is drop a little piece down the sink and have to go for it. So, fill the sink that you can uh, place your, your trumpet in with warm water. Do not use hot water, do not use cold water, but use warm, tepid water. And the reason for that is that if you have a lacquer-covered instrument, if you use water that's too hot, you risk the possibility of the <clears throat> lacquer starting to soften. So make sure this is this lukewarm. I'm going to fill that up. I'm going to place another towel at the bottom of this sink just so that my trumpet is not resting on the metal of the sink. What I'm going to do then is add some liquid detergent. So that we get some good sudsing going on there. Okay, now I'm going to place the body of the trumpet in there and let that soak generally for about 15 minutes or so. Okay, so now you want to take each of the tubes and your trombone cleaner and you want to start putting it through the pieces to get any gunk out of there. So.
Okay, so you want to do that with each of the tubing. You can also clean the brass. Just make sure that any gunk is off of the outside of that. The valve caps always seem to get extra dirty, so that's where I use a toothbrush. Okay, now for the body of the horn. Same thing. The leaf pipe is usually what gets the dirtiest. So you want to make sure you run it all the way through that. Be careful when you ram it, th it through here that you don't damage or scratch the, the valve casings. Okay, once you're done with that, you just rinse it off with fresh water. Now when it comes to the valves, what I do is I just sort of move up the little felt washer just a little bit to get it out of the way. Okay. Then, I just take the whole thing, dip it in there, and that's where I use the mouthpiece brush. Because this is the only part of the valves that, that gets dirty, is this, where the, the holes are, where those ports are. Then rinse it off. Again, I'm protecting, I'm protecting the the felt just by holding it, it out of the way there. <clears throat> and set that over to dry. Don't forget to do your mouthpiece. Okay, now we're gonna dry everything off. Okay, another little tip when you're drying off your valve caps, take a paper towel, jam it in there, and then just twist it around. And that will get any residual gunk out of there. See? Nice and clean. Take a paper towel and then just make sure you blot out of the, the valve felt any water that might be in there. Okay, so now that everything is dry, the next step is to put all this, the tubing and slides back, and that's where the rotor oil comes in handy. So what I do is I take a little bit of that oil and just put it on the the two parts, the two parts that mate. 
just kind of move it around with my finger a little bit just make sure to coat the surfaces then assemble the piece back on okay I do that for each of them that all nice and coated. Move it in and out a little bit, the tuning slide, just to get it nice and greased up put the valve caps on. So lastly are the valves. I happen to use a, a synthetic uh, oil by Hetman. Seems to work pretty good for me. Put on pretty liberally actually um, when, I'm, when I just cleaned it. Now the orientation, um, there's usually a key to the orientation. There's in this horn, there's a um, the tab is a little bit larger on one side than it is on the other, so it fits in correctly. If for some reason you go to blow through the trumpet and uh, it's stopped up, then you have one or more of the valves turned around, so you'll need to make sure you get them correctly oriented. Okay, so there you have it.